So Dr. Sears, today we're going to talk about Ozempic, a topic that never seems to get old and uh, something that every day there's news about it. So let's first off start with um, the basics, just because some people might, this might be the first time they're listening to us. So in your opinion, is Ozempic the fastest way to lose weight? In my opinion, the answer is no, but well, or importantly, a recent study confirmed my opinion. All right. And what they, did, what they did was to take overweight individuals, and diabetics in, in particular, and put them on one of three groups. One group was taking Ozempic. The second group was following a low-calorie diet. And the third group was those following a low-calorie diet plus Ozempic. So a very interesting study. So what happened? Well, those who are basically following the low-calorie diet lost twice as much weight as those on Ozempic. They lost twice as much fat. I say, okay, what if you combine the two? That's why they said the third group. The combination of Ozempic and the low-calorie diet had no impact. It's saying basically the low-calorie diet was more powerful than Ozempic. And so basically we had to ask the question, what is the best long-term way of reducing calories? Well, yes, we have two things. We can take an injection of Ozempic, or we can do calorie restriction. But that only works if it's without hunger or fatigue. So, Dr. Chu, so what you're saying is going on a very low-calorie diet actually produced greater results for fat loss than doing the low-calorie diet coupled with Ozempic. And, correct. And the reason is because they reduce the calories. Those on Ozempic alone, just taking the shot of Ozempic, they reduce their calorie intake by about, oh, 30%. Mm -hmm. and that's a lot. Those on the low-calorie diet reduce their calorie intake by 60%. So again, people say calories don't count. Well, obviously they do. The more you reduce calories, the more weight, and more importantly, the more fat you lose. So you always talk about calorie restriction being the best way to lose excess body fat, but did the study look at insulin resistance at all or blood glucose markers? I know that's also something you really look at as well. Of course. And what they found that the group taking the Ozempic, there was no change in their insulin resistance. That's not good news. But right. those taking the uh, low calorie diet, there was a significant drop in the levels of insulin resistance. And that's what you're looking to do. Why does Ozempic work? It works not because it's magic. It works by reducing calorie intake, and that activates AMPK. And the more you reduce calorie intake, the more you activate AMPK. And what does AMPK do when you activate it? It burns fat faster. And that's exactly what the study indicated. So I know, it, you know the calorie restriction is an important piece, but what about the macronutrient composition of these diets? Did anything well, compare to the zone? Uh, well, it's interesting. Those on the uh, Ozempic arm, basically, they made no change in their macronutrient composition. Uh, mm. They had a bad diet to begin with. They still had a bad diet, just left fewer calories. But those on the very low-calorie diet, their composition was very similar to the zone diet. So it says, yes, it's not only reducing calories, but it's also basically getting the right macronutrient balance so you're not as hungry. Because obviously, long-term calorie restriction is very difficult if you're always hungry. Right. Well, and then the other issue with the calorie restriction, which we've talked about in sort of a side effect of Ozempic from, from the earlier um, podcast that we've done, is this uh, losing lean body mass. So it's also important to have that macronutrient balance and enough protein, right? When you're that's doing true, the calorie restriction. That's true. But, and that's why you can look at this uh, study. They were using a very low calorie diet. Uh, even though the percentage of protein was higher in the uh, low calorie diet, it was still low. It's only about, oh, 42, 43 grams of protein per day you really need a really a minimum of 90. So that's why they're also losing more lean body mass. So if we put two and two together, we hopefully get four. So I got the idea, a lower calorie diet with adequate protein with the right macronutrient balance, you'll lose fat at the fastest rate without losing lean body mass. You know, just briefly, Dr. Sears, what, what are the, you know, and I know people, we've talked about this, but why, why is it so important to make sure that you're losing excess body fat and not the muscle mass? Like, I know that's a twofold question. Well, uh, muscle mass is only part of lean body mass. A lean body mass is the weight of your muscle, the weight of all your organs, the weight of your bone. 
of so those are things you don't want to lose. Do you want right, to lose right, bone? Right, right. No. Do you want to lose heart muscle? No. Do you want yep. to lose basically liver? No. So again, the the really the holy grail of you know fat loss is to lose fat and not lose lean body mass. Now, in every study ever published, except one, uh, when you basically reduce calories, you lose lean body mass. Now, what was that one study? Our study. Exactly. <laughs> the one we published seven years ago is saying using zone foods and getting adequate protein throughout the day, you can lose fat and actually gain lean body mass, the holy grail of weight loss. Yes, I want to lose weight, but I want to make sure all the weight is being lost as fat and maintaining, if not actually increasing, our level of lean body mass. That gives rise to wellness, and that gives rise to a longer and better life. Excellent. Well, Dr. Sears, thanks so much for your time today. And if people want to learn more about the zone diet and calorie restriction and, and how to follow the plan, where should they go? Well, I would recommend going to drsears.com. You know, the science of metabolism is complex. Uh, our job is to make it that complexity easy to understand and give you the dietary guidelines, how you can use those to now reprogram your metabolism for the rest of your life.